What is up, YouTube? I have got some changes. I was expecting later on in the week, and they arrived today. So after my cloning session yesterday, all my clones kept throwing through, my, falling through my bucket holes. Uh, my old neoprene pucks shrank. Some shit I don't know. I went out and I got this guy last to this morning. Easy cloning, plant cloning system. Very nice. Hundred and fifty dollars. Not nice, but let's take a look at it. So, got our pump, 450 gallons a minute, or hour probably, about 320 gallons per hour, sorry. We have our manifold, we have our cloning solution, this is the manifold. Very nice system. Very quick, easy, simple to use. Very nice. So, pull all this apart. Let's see what comes in here. We have our sprinkler heads. And we have the pump and the extension for the manifold. So, Only one size fits. So, let's screw that on. Nice and snug. And we have our manifold. We'll screw that on here. Alright. Alright. There we have it. There's our pump. Let me get the sprinkler heads in now. Uh, need to hurry up and get this thing in there. I got a, probably about two gallons of water on my floor. Ouch. It's kind of hurt putting in. Nice snug fit. A little too snug. I'm going to grab a pair of pliers because my thumb is sore. You know when you cut your nails too short and your fingertips just hurt with anything that you do? Well, that's what I did. So, we don't have to snug them up too tight. They only need to be in there so that way they don't leak. No need to over tighten, break off the stems. You'll never get them out. You have to retap it and all for a 25 cent. Dollar twenty-five cent part, it's not worth the hassle. So I'm not squeezing on here. I'm just lightly grabbing them. I'm just twisting, not forcing anything. If it doesn't want to go anymore, it's not going to go anymore. So there we have it. We have our pump. go right there in the middle. Perfect. So I'm going to cut out, I'm going to go wash this thing out with nice hot water. I need to put her into use real soon. Uh, I'll cut back when everything's all set up and we got the plants in her. Alright, here we go. She's all set up. She's full of solution. I put an air stone in there. They don't tell you to put an air stone in there, but uh, the pumps generate their own heat, eventually raising the water temperature. Uh, so I put an air stone in there. It seems to help out my situation better. I don't know if that goes for everybody's, but I choose to put an air stone in there. I and mean, what have I got to lose? Use this gap right here for your hoses and whatnot. You got plenty of room, so I threw in a one inch by one inch square stone. Put my six girls in there. Much better than my clone bucket that I was using. But anyways, on to the next big upgrade. Alright, here we are. My next big upgrade. 
my double-ended high-pressure sodium. I have been waiting over a week for this puppy. I am so happy. She is a thousand watt double-ended high-pressure sodium system. They say commercially open. Let's take open this girl up and see what she looks like. All right. Well, the box opens up backwards. Sorry. All right. I have already opened this at the grocery store, so don't think that this is exactly how she comes in a box. She had all sorts of stuffing around her and all that. This is the freaking light bulb. It is over a freaking foot long, man. Thing's gigantic. And I'm not going to pull her out and play with the bulb yet because I don't have uh, any rubber gloves or anything. I don't want to get oil all over the bulb. Here's the reflector. It's got these splits in it. The bulb lays right in here. Shoots out the sides. I have the detachable ballast which is uh, fantastic. I bought a 15 foot cord so I can keep it on the outside. Got a couple of screws to put in here for your hanging system. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful setup she is. And then we have here is the ballast. She weighs a ton. So. See what's in here. We got our regular five foot cord. We have some mounting plates. Here are the bolts to put on for hanging. Here are the suggested bolts they send to mount your ballast. I mean, dude, this ballast is heavy. It seriously has got to be almost 40 pounds. If I had a scale, I'd go weigh it. But uh, this thing is freaking ginormous. But anyways, it's a beautiful looking ballast. I have my adjustable things right here. It goes 60%, 75 100%, and then super. I do all that by clicking this button in here. So, I mean, dude, I am impressed. I don't know why you would hang this with a light. Jeez, that that's definitely a one-sided uh, weight system. But anyways, guys, I will show you later when I have it all set up. I'm not doing it now because the girls are sleeping. Anyways, hope you guys like the updates. Like, com comment, subscribe. Please tell all your buddies to come check me out. Thanks a lot. Keep watching.